Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, July 19th. Um, this is for, um, I guess, friends and um, family that might not be in the area um, because I've gotten a couple requests from, from friends and family, like, how are you doing or whatever, and I try to explain everything, and I know I leave bits and pieces out. Um, so I want to make sure everybody kind of has the, the same update. Um, so here goes. Um, I'm going to put it on YouTube, but for now I'm just going to like um, make sure I send it out to uh, those people that have been asking and I know they've been wondering and whatever. So um, in a nutshell, today I've got a doctor's appointment. Um, I think it's going to be a blood test day. Uh, just for the basics and um, hopefully I will have my PET scan scheduled for later this month or in August and that'll kind of reveal um, exactly where we are um, with regards to making all the lesions from the original prostate cancer um, having all those lesions uh, gone away and I hope they have of course but there might be one or two left um, there were a couple in my um, vertebrae that were um, kind of hanging on there but I've completed chemo now it's been about six and a half weeks I'm trying to keep up with how long ago it was about six and a half weeks ago um, the only notable uh, side effect that I've had from the chemo is I looked a little paler um, and uh, lost uh, lost all body hair and maybe just a little bit on my head, but everything's starting to grow back now, um, much to my dismay, because now I gotta shave again. Um, uh, let me see, what else? That was the only side effect to the chemo. Oh, and I, I said to the doctor, I'm like, you know, I'm really positive about the way things are going, and she said, well, you should be, because she's never had a patient who has um, gone through what I've gone through with both the androgen deprivation therapy and the chemo, who's still working out four or five times a week, who's eating well, who's feeling good. So she said, whatever you're doing, um, keep doing it. I said, well, throw in that mix. I said, I'm praying every day. Like I have my alone time in my car and I say a prayer and, and pray for more time with my family and, um, and more time on this earth. So uh, with everything that we're doing, I think it's been uh, really positive. So what does the future hold, right? Well, the one thing from the ADT that um, that is obvious is that I've lost a lot of strength. Um, not that it's a lot of weight, but a couple years ago, I could bench press 200, 215 pounds. Not easily, but that was my max. Like I could get that on a bench um, and the other day, um, I just signed up in a new gym that I'll get to in a second. Uh, the other day, I got under a, uh, a barbell with a little bit of weight on it, very little bit of weight, and I could barely, um, barely bench press about 110, 115, barely get it up. So I've lost um, 45, 50% of my strength in my in my arms and in my chest, and. Um, that's something that you know you lose with the androgen deprivation therapy you lose strength in your muscles you lose bone strength you lose um, immunity because it takes away your testosterone so um, that's one thing that um, we're going to address very very soon I just got my last I'm telling you it's my last Lupron shot it's Lupron or Eligard whichever you want to call it um, and um, I've been cutting back slightly on my um, Nubeca, my daily medication that I take in pill form that complements the, um, the Eligard. So uh, I'm cutting back on that on my own just because um, I, I believe, I have no scientific data that supports this, but I believe that rather than cut something off all of a sudden, um, slowly weaning off uh, some of these medications would be far better um, for me than um, just pulling the plug all at once one day and just saying, okay, I'm stopping. So
so that's where we're at um so update on the gym thing so joined a new gym the other day uh called power fitness owned by my uh my buddy uh, derek hall used to lift weights with him over at golds and um He's like really into powerlifting. Did a did a bodybuilding show or two years and years ago, but uh, just a real good guy. Um, it's a basic gym. It's a basic uh, weightlifters um, bodybuilding gym. Um, not too many frills, um, but it's a key card operation. It's great, uh, 24/7, um, and uh, so far I've been greeted there with enthusiasm by not only Derek and his wife, but also um, the other people that, that train there. So really positive about that. The family's gonna join that gym and they're backing away from Planet Fitness. Um, I'm gonna stay at Planet Fitness as well because that's where I have clients. Um, and that's kind of the update. Feeling great um, and looking forward to even feeling better. You know, I can feel things starting to get back back to normal um, so I think that's it I think that's the update uh, we did get back from our vacation um, on the Caribbean princess we went on a Western Caribbean cruise uh, and I think we're gonna have a little trip this fall um, not to Disney but we're gonna stay over in that area or stay over by Disney and um, go to Universal so Keeping the vacations going, going to keep uh, living life and eating well and um, taking our supplements and uh, we got a long road ahead, but a long positive road. So have a great day, have a great week and um, have a great weekend if I don't talk to you before then. See you later.